Hello everybody, this is Hector and the big question today is Twitter. How can you market on Twitter and why you should be marketing on Twitter? Everybody's marketing on Twitter, everyone's selling something on Twitter. Yada yada, I get it, I understand. But you should be as well be marketing on Twitter. You have a lot of accounts, you have a lot of websites, you have a lot of affiliates, you have a lot of links that need traffic. So before you start questioning Twitter and start questioning the traffic, where it's coming from, first thing you need to do is stop questioning and lose the fear. As a network marketer, you have to market on every single site possible. If there's a site that you don't belong to, get on it. Fill out the profile, put your picture in there, put your about you page, and start putting your content on those websites. The more websites you have your links on, the, the greater chances you have of getting traffic and someone possibly clicking on your link or just starting to follow you. Now as of recent, I'm getting a lot of Twitter friends and Twitter followers, fans, calling me. They see, they like my tweets, they like what I give, I'm always giving value, I'm always teaching for free, and I'm always giving back, and I'm always helping a lot of network marketers on the internet, regardless if they're in my market or not. And what I do, this is what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to set up Twitter. I'm gonna show you how to set up, um, actually, no, your Twitter account, and that's really it. I'm gonna show you how to get automated so you can leverage your time throughout the day to do something a lot more proficient, like marketing or creating ads or creating WordPress or just getting your stats and your data out there, your information. So you can't spend your time on Twitter tweeting all day long. You can't spend your time on Facebook all day long. I believe that's a waste of time. Your job is basically to get all the information that you've been learning on the internet and stretch it throughout the internet so you can get traffic. Traffic equals leads, leads equals money. That's basically what I'm gonna show you. So this is my tweet adder account. These are multiple accounts that I have over here, not all by me, some of them by my personal affiliates that I work with, that I help sponsor and I got them in here. So we're gonna manage our accounts. First thing you need to do is right here, you're gonna create, you're gonna actually add your Twitter username and your Twitter password. This is only available for you on your computer so you can manage it. No one else will see the password and no one else um, can access your account but yourself. Once you do that and you access your account, I'm gonna log into my account over here. Now this is my stats. This is who I'm following. These are the keywords that I chose just for this tutorial. And then we're gonna click on a couple of these links over here. First thing is over here on the top, your settings. My settings, I have it to run automatically between 2, 18 a.m. and 11.56 p.m. Update following followers list every 30 to 40 minutes. I have nobody blacklisted or whitelisted. These are all my followers. These are the followings. My to follow list, it's gonna come up in a minute here. This is everybody I'm following. So right now I'm following, I'm going to be following 134,793 people. And I took a lot of people. I took people from Usher, from Jonathan, from Mark Hoverson, you know, top leaders right now in the industry. I wanna get the people that they're following because these are people in my niche. These are people that are interested in buying something. These are people interested in learning. These are people interested in just grabbing information as much for free and since I provide free information, how-to videos on YouTube, I like to promote them on Twitter so they can get free access to what I do, have some sort of connection with me, like what I do, start following what I do and start implementing everything I do. And eventually I start converting them into sales because they see that I'm not selling anything, I'm always promoting something and I earn the trust with them. That's how I grow my Twitter followers and this is how I've been able to grow my network marketing business. Um, keywords here, you can put any keywords and location you want to search for. So if you have a specific keyword that you're looking for on Twitter, you can just start searching here. The Twitter location is any location that you want. Also, same thing with keywords. Follows of users. This is really important. Let's say we want to go follow anybody in, well, let's say, Let's say Amway. See if Amway has a Twitter account. And they do. And it's extracting one page, two page, three page. And it's going to extract whoever has the account name twitter.com forward slash Amway. I'm extracting their list. That's what I'm doing right now. When this is complete, 
should be complete shortly. Right now, it's, it's allowing me the leverage of not sitting here and following everybody. Right now, it's gonna collect and gather all these leads from people that are following Amway, and I'm gonna utilize it. Now, I'm gonna stop that for now because I don't wanna follow anybody right this second. I have more than enough people. But this is all their IDs, the username, and um, the last tweet that they did, the last time they tweeted in location. Now you can also utilize followed by user or follow followers of a user, either which way, and this kind of is common sense. And the Twitter list, the Twitter list is same thing, list name or Twitter user. On the follow, this is what I have. I have sent to followers, I have 867. I try to keep it between six to 900 because Twitter does have a cap of a thousand followers per day. So I keep it round and it has to be somewhat human-like. I don't like leaving round numbers. 867, 843, 841, 764, you know, numbers like that. The delay, 126 to 214 seconds. Okay, this is the important part here. And automation settings, maximum followers to send per day, the same amount that I'm sending to. And time delays between eight to 12 minutes. I have this purposely unchecked because I'm under my list and I want it to keep running. Follow back, I wanna follow everybody that's following back. So hopefully the people that I'm following there are gonna follow me back immediately. So I got that a little higher at 923. And same time delays, 123 to 219. And maximum follows per day, 923, 7 to 11 minutes. And I also have this unchecked. Unfollow users, same thing, 923. 96 to 123 seconds automation is 923 and between six to seven minutes i also have this unchecked and who to unfollow unfollow all followers except whitelisted so anybody that you have on a whitelist that you do not want to unfollow somebody that you personally know you can add them to this whitelist my tweets are very simple this is how you set up a tweet um, over here so this is a notepad and the notepad I created here was a title and a link to my YouTube a title and my link to my YouTube a title so so forth you guys can see the point over here and at the end of this I got quotes that I've copied off of the internet off of famous quotes online and I just sent a quote life is hard it's even harder when you're stupid little things like this and I'm gonna show you how I how I threw this in here also so over here we got our tweets you can also utilize the tweet generator if you want to not write your own tweets you can write a couple of things over here and just write generate tweets RSS feeds is all the RSS and blogs that I have I can put them right here retweets is anybody that I want to retweet and usually I just started adding on um, my downline over here is if they have a Twitter account, I'm gonna retweet their tweets just to give them more publicity because I do have more followers than they do and they have followers like I do. And we all work with each other this way. We all retweet our tweets, get more traffic, syndicate our sites a lot better. Their friends see what I'm tweeting about and um, my friends see what they're tweeting about. And it gives everybody a lot more diversity and traffic to each other. The replies. This is the same thing. I actually, what I did, I took a little shortcut. The same tweets that I have going out, I put as my replies. And I also put as, let me bring this page down. I also did this as a thank you page. And I also did this as other message. Now other message, this right here, you can start a list. Like right now it's running or I stopped it. Actually the last time before I did this video, I just sent 13 and I can select from oldest, the newest, or random order. Now, when you put your tweets in here, like the list that I had showed you earlier, like this list over here, if you put this list in here, all you have to do is import list and you find the notepad on your desktop. Export tweets is if you wanna delete all these, instead of deleting them, you can just export them and you can clean them up and delete what you want and what you don't want. Once you put them in here, just click this little dice button. It says randomize order. And what it does, it just shuffles your tweets in and out. So you can do this once a day if you like. 
turn on Twitter, don't turn off Twitter, don't turn off your computer, but at least hit the random order so it doesn't come out all the same all the time. So if somebody is following you on Twitter, it can spread around and it looks still original and real, still it looks human-like. And for the most part, this is it on Twitter. Just make sure that you come over here, manage account, and you keep adding all your Twitter accounts and your passwords, and they all turn on. The overview will show you everything that's connected to your primary Twitter account. And right now, just a, a month or so, I was stuck at 2000, and I'm at 9544, and I'm following you. And I got 9311 following you back. I did already 19 updates today. And I'm sorry, 19 left, and there's 203 for today. Following 134,000, follow back, there's one left. That means I have to follow somebody back that this tool will do for me. And unfollow 9,544, and tweets 2006 left. So this is everything that I have here. So what I do is I take followers and followings, at one point or another, I will unfollow everybody and then I will follow them back. And I will unfollow and follow them back. The people that are following me, that are loyal to me, they will continue following me. The people that are just following me just for the heck of it because they're using the tool, I can delete them. So I said here 9,544 that I'm not gonna follow back. That means my entire list. And when my list is done, whoever's still following me, gonna continue following me and that's basically what I do I just recycle everything what I'm trying to do on Twitter is I'm trying to find a loyal following people that want to follow me because of who I am and what I deliver and what I offer not because of a bot because everybody's using these bots and this is how I delete the bots so if I have a loyal fan and they want to whitelist me they can whitelist me if I have a loyal Twitter that does not use this tool I'll still be their friend because they're not gonna unfollow me because I unfollow them they just follow me because of the value that I'm giving. So this is a real basic tutorial on how to set up your Twitter accounts. For those stats that I gave you earlier, you can always pause and copy similar. Don't copy exactly what I did because everybody should be different. If everybody's doing the same thing, then somebody here, one of us is gonna get flagged. This doesn't look professional. Delete them a little bit. Add, them, add a couple of seconds, delete five seconds, add 17 seconds to each thing. Get a bunch of tweets, very simple, go to your websites and click on all your affiliate links. Look at all your affiliate links and put them on a notepad. Notepad like this, a title and a URL. A title and a URL. How to feed your M MLSP blog, the URL for YouTube. What is the Empower Network Affiliate Membership all about? And a video on YouTube, a video on your affiliate link, a video on your ClickBank, a, a, a link on your blog, a link on your WordPress, a link on your video site, a link on your Facebook fan page, just a link on every single site that you honestly own. By the time you know it, you're gonna have 300 to 500 tweets because most of us as network marketers, we have multiple products that we promote. Every product has a page. Every page has a tab. Every tab is a unique URL. I'm gonna say this again. Every page on your affiliate site has a home, about you page, um, compensation plan, how to sign up, the sales page. All of it is a unique link. So if you add a title to that link, you just created a tweet. Do this for every single website, every single blog. For most of us that do have a blog on a WordPress, we have about 30, 50 to 100 blogs. That's 100 links easy with the title of the blog. Very simple to do. Your Facebook fan page, if you have more than one, if you have 10 or five and you're trying to get more traffic to it, put them on Twitter. When you utilize this tool like this, it's magic because you're gonna get a lot of traffic from it. Also, when you go back and you sign into your account and you use this other tool that's all the way at the bottom here, other messages, you can put all your tweets in here and then just send a blast to everybody. See, I have over here 987. Again, I wanna keep it under 1,000. And then I'm gonna hit start. 
what this does is sends a direct tweet to every single one of your Twitter followers and it will go directly into their email. So that means you have two options they can see you. They can actually go into their Twitter account and see their direct messages or they can go into their email and read your direct tweets. It's very powerful. It's a little bit better than email marketing, I think, because if they're on Twitter, they're going to see it just like Facebook. When someone likes a page or someone comments on one of your pages on Facebook, it goes into your email box. So this is a really good way to get traffic, get exposure, hopefully get leads and eventually start making some money from affiliate accounts or memberships or products that you're selling. This is what I would recommend. It's been working for me. I was not a fan of Twitter. I hated Twitter. I disliked it completely. And I found out that this was a niche that I was losing money because there's a lot of people here that are network marketers that need a tool, that need system, that need training, that need guidance, that need mentorship. So if you think you have that, you can provide that. And for those of you that think that you can't be mentoring people, you're absolutely wrong. I'm assuming, and I'm pretty sure this assumption is accurate, you've purchased ebooks before, you've gotten access to membership sites, to training sites, um, accounts like My Lead System Pro, there's 600 videos in there, training videos. Watch them, reteach them, do a video presentation. You don't have to do a, a, a visual like with your face on it. You can just record your screen like I'm doing and just reteach everything you've been learning and try to get it organized. Set up an account on YouTube, put it as your name, training center, or free training, a training blog with just certain steps tricks, techniques of marketing that you've learned already from stuff that you've purchased. All the top marketers right now on the company, they pay either to go to a conference, a webinar, or they fly to go somewhere and go on a meeting and they listen, they take notes and they bring it back and they deliver it to us. But when we buy it, it's because they've already packaged it in a product. If you're not at that position that you can package a product, just put it for free on YouTube Forget about not making money. Worry about earning that respect. Worry about positioning yourself as a leader. So when someone does not know how to set up a Facebook fan page, you can show them. When someone does not know how to set up a Twitter account, you can show them. When someone does not know how to set up a WordPress, you can show them. I think you get my point here. Stop assuming that people know this stuff because there's a lot of people that don't. I'm talking from experience. Day in and day out, my phone rings and people are still asking questions how to do this and how to do that, how to use My Lead System Pro, how to use Twitter, how to set up a Facebook fan page, etc. I thought that they knew this stuff, so I started redoing my videos and reteaching current events. Stay fresh, stay hip, stay with today's date. Facebook changed their platform last month like 10 times, and you guys know this. We're speaking about the month of, no, when was that, October, because we're in November right now. Just teach, keep teaching. It doesn't matter if you're not a great teacher. If you learn something, take some notes, put it on a video, it could be a PowerPoint, write a blog about it. If you don't wanna make a video, write a blog, take the tweet of the blog, like the URL and tweet it on Twitter. But use this tool to start leveraging yourself. If you have multiple accounts, open multiple Twitter accounts, they're free. If you have an affiliate account about a water company, Say something about water on your username for Twitter and just promote the water company. If you have a membership site, promote the membership site. If you have a tool that you're using like Tweet Adder or voice broadcasting or email marketing or something like My Lead System Pro or something like any membership that you can get money from as an affiliate, separate the entity and then also put the entity all in one. That's what I do. I have one that's everything involved so everybody gets to know I'm an open book. Everybody gets to see everything I do. If they get overwhelmed, I'm sorry. If they want to see more about me, they'll listen, they'll watch my videos, they'll start comprehending and understanding how simple it is to utilize Twitter and how simple it is to re-deliver this content that I've learned. So this is what I want to show you. This is what I want you to do. Use Twitter to start getting traffic to your site. This is one thing that a lot of people are crying about. Twitter, I have 9,000 people that are seeing my link on one account. I have multiple accounts. So that's 9,000 on one, 3,000 on another, 10,000 on another, 25,000 on another, 
4001 and just keep growing your list. Every time you get a new product or a new tool or a new system, um, a new affiliate with ClickBank, open a new Twitter account, speak about the pages, start writing blogs about it, and then start tweeting the affiliate link on every page that they offer and start tweeting your blog post. The more traffic you get to your blog post, the more active readers you get, they start working with you, they connect with you on Facebook, they connect with you on Twitter, they connect with you on YouTube. I'm sorry I'm going a little bit fast, but again, this is a video. So you can stop it, you can pause it, you can rewind it, take notes on what I said, redistribute the same information in your own words, and that's basically it. It's really not a big secret, it's, it's all about taking initiative, and taking action and doing something as you learn it. Anything you learn, implement what you've learned. Don't sit there and keep it all in your head. If it's in your head, I don't know about it. Other people don't know about it. So when you sit back and say, I'm not getting any leads because no one knows you exist. So to get people to know you exist, start syndicating, start getting your traffic out there, start talking, start commenting, start liking pages, start retweeting, start leaving comments on blogs, start leaving comments on YouTube. Yes, it sounds like a lot. And it is, it is a lot. But if you do a daily task a day, if you put all your social media sites, all your links, and you say, today I'm working on this, on Tuesday I'm working on this, on Wednesday I'm working on this, you have a five day work week now that you can start working and stay focused on one specific project. Make sure that project is done and then Tuesday. The first week is gonna be the toughest because you're new at this. The second week gets a little bit easier. The third week is almost like a piece of cake because now is you're doing this every week. You're being repetitive about it and you're learning it, you're mastering it. And now you're getting a lot more traffic, you get to understand more, and it just gets a lot easier day in and day out. Use the tricks that, I've, that I told you, which is not a big trick, but it's just buying this tool and utilizing this tool. Use the, the numbers that I've used here earlier, which I'm gonna do it again. On my followers, I got 867, and this is my time delay, so you guys can just copy this page right here. Don't copy it exactly. Remember, tweak it up a little bit, make it yourself. The follow back, these are the numbers that I'm using. So you can take notes real quick and just, or just pause the video. And the unfollow is the same thing. The thank you page, you can be unique. And the quotes you can get from any search. You just do a Google search for quotes online and you can just copy and mix them around so people can see you're still talking and just sending links. Then the other message is when you get a couple of hundred, once a week, send them a direct message. As you grow your list, you grow your list, but every week you can send them like an email without getting an email autoresponder. It's all on your followers. Don't be spammy. Don't do this every single day. Do it once a week at least or every 14 days and do it from any which angle you want, random, from newest or oldest. Remember, you do have a list right here that can allow you to select it. Make sure you're writing this down also because in a couple of months, you're gonna forget what you did. So in 14 days, you said, today I sent direct messages to all new followers. In two weeks, you can go back and look at your notes and say, okay, I did that last week. Let me go from the oldest to the newest. Two weeks after that, you can go on the random and you can look at what you've been doing so you can see your progression. Always take notes, always keep track, at least on paper. As you grow and develop, there's other tools that are free online that you can start tracking your other your other work on the internet. But for now, take notes. The old pen and paper works well. A, a composition book from the dollar store works excellent. Write the date on it, write what you're doing. Get a worksheet together. If you don't have a worksheet, call me or email me. I'll be more than glad to give you or share my worksheet that I use. So you can utilize this for yourself and you can make this work for you. Again, this is Hector, giving you a lengthy video, gave you a little bit of a speech, but it is what it is. I need you guys to get marketing. I need you guys to get start getting traffic. I want everybody to start making money. That's basically what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys. If you need anything, give me a buzz, give me a call, give me a tweet, send me a Facebook shout out, something. Um, connect with me any which way you want. If you wanna keep learning on your own, just keep watching my videos, keep watching other people's videos, and remember, 
implement what you learn, teach what you've learned. That's really it. And that's basically it for today, guys. Enjoy your day.